Do you know what a real laser cannon looks like? Uh, laser cannon? Yep, that's it. It's been making waves in the news, cutting tree branches and piercing hornet's nests with ease. Today, I also want to see for myself how powerful it really is. Friendly reminder, this experiment is for scientific demonstration, conducted in a controlled environment with professional protective eyewear throughout the process, no imitation. This laser cannon, also called a laser clearing device, it has rated power of 720 watts. To test its power, we picked up a few items from the scrap heap. Guess which ones will be pierced by the laser? The first victim, soda can. Log on. Start. Oh, done. Soda can didn't stand a chance. Next is my dad's discarded dead potted plant. This thing is thicker than my arm. Will it burn through? Let's wait and see. Is that it? What? You really can't cut through a tree. Next up, a broken kettle. A stainless steel kettle? That's thicker than my skin. <laughs> I trust the light. We all know light carries energy, and laser is light amplified by stimulated emission. Its wavelength, phase, and direction are all perfectly aligned. The energy is concentrated into a tiny point, creating significant destructive power. Oh, it burned through! See? Even the stainless steel kettle couldn't stop it. Though it did overheat briefly. Let's wait for the CD to cool down for the final test. Oh, that's unbelievable. Actually, concentrating light energy can also be done through another method called pulsed high-intensity light, which concentrates energy in a very short amount of time. It releases high-powered light radiation in an instant, targeting microorganisms to sterilize them. Hey, the laser cannon has cooled down. Final challenge, safe versus laser cannon. This feels a bit like bullying. If a safe gets burned through, it's no longer a safe. But as always, let's trust the light. Hey, 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 hold up, man. Are you serious? 